Okay, breathe in, breathe out, core muscles. Remember, you're gonna take the legs to the side. You need to make sure you sink the hips back a little bit to support your knees. So breathing in, breathing out, abdominals, sink the hips back, slide the leg out. Okay, it's gonna, this works the outer thigh. Again, if you need more resistance, uh, bring the band a little bit lower. Okay, so as you bring the leg back, you're gonna add in uh, a bit of a squeezing action here. Um, if you've got a ball or cushion or something like that, or just use your hands, pressing them together like that. So as you bring that leg back, I want you to have your feet turned out slightly. I want you to bring the foot in, but push the foot into the piece of paper and you bring it back and you should feel that in the inner thigh. All right, breathing in, breathing out, stretch and draw that leg in. Press it into the floor, particularly the heel here. The feet turned out there and squeeze. Okay, what's the calves as well? You're gonna feel this in the calves. Can you feel the extra uh, conditioning, extra strengthening, air uh, and back, so out of thigh, inner thigh. You can turn the feet out or have them facing the front. Okay, squeeze, air uh, and squeeze. All right, change sides. So sink the hips back, going back, and squeeze. And we're going there, and squeeze. Push the foot into the floor, there, and that's it, there, there. Turn, the feet, turn the, the feet out a little bit to activate that inner thigh. Again, if you're not feeling it, bring it down a little bit lower, squeeze, and there. Uh, For some reason, this works the calf as well, I don't know if you can feel that. Okay, that's it, anyway, there, squeeze. And sink back a bit lower if you want to. So it's from the side. So if you want to work a little bit harder, sink back and squeeze. There. And drag that foot back. So there. And drag it back. There. And drag. How was that? Yeah? Okay. So we're going to do front of the thigh and back of the thigh now. So how we do that um, with the gliders, if you like. It's a front squat and a back squat, okay? So, standing here. So you're gonna slide the front foot forward. Go, go down into your squat. And then draw that leg back. Change legs, breathing in, breathing out. So think about your posture. There, down, and back. By all means, um, add weights or your band in here, but I think just today, if you've not done this before, we need to just to make sure we've got our balance here. All right, standing nice and tall. Okay, slide the foot down, squat, breathing in, breathing out. Remember, busted muscles and drag that foot back. Breathing in, breathing out there, and drag it back. Okay, there, squat, and back. There, squat, and back. Add a bit more here if you want to, the upper body. There, and back. I hope you can feel that in the back of the thigh a little bit more. Okay, and then we do um, a squat or a lunge really. Lunge to the back. So we're taking the leg out, keep your posture. We're going down and then we're bringing that leg back. Breathing in, breathing out, slide it back. Squat down and then drag that foot back. Breathing in, breathing out there. Squat and draw it back. There, squat and back. Now you can feel that working, all the core muscles, particularly the legs, but obviously also abdominals as well. Squat and squeeze. There, squat and squeeze. There, squat and squeeze. It's quite good for your balance as well. There, squat and squeeze. 